Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman, and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at each life path number, the forecast for October 2023. Before we get into that, uh, this of course is a general reading. If you would like a personalized reading where we can take a look at your personal numerology, including your year ahead forecast, your diamond report, couples uh, numerology, you name it, we can look at it. Uh, Just book some time with me. My information is in the description box below, and I look forward to working with you. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in. Life path number three, happy October. And so this month you all are working with two energy as well as your animal wisdom message from dog energy. So this is really beautiful uh, for this month for you all. There's a lot coming in around relationships um, and you know the whole spectrum of relationships. So how we relate to others. Um, this could be a month where you connect with sort of a soul um, a soulmate in some way, right? Where there's a soul contract and this person, whether it's a friend or a romantic partner or whatever, or a colleague or a work partner, um, has the potential to be long lasting and to be very sort of impactful in your journey. This is also a great month for sort of making amends when it comes to relationships. So if there's any connection that maybe there's been some discord or some falling away or, you know, uh, disharmony, this can be a month where, you know, someone reaches out unexpectedly, or maybe you feel called to reach out to the other person, depending on how things sort of ended. Um, And you could see some resolution, right? Some coming together, some deeper connectivity in those relationships. Or this can be a time for you to sort of mend your own heart when it comes to those relationships. Maybe it's a relationship that, you know, really just doesn't make sense or isn't healthy to have a physical connection with that person. But Maybe you have opportunities this month to, you know, work with someone um, or gain deeper insight in ways to sort of mend your own sort of broken heart, right? And and move forward in a way that feels much better for you. That's also very, very possible. Um, but I definitely think this is a great month for sort of strengthening connections, meeting new people, sort of meeting your soul tribe, um, meeting those people who have like similar value systems, um, who just make you feel good, who, you know, you want to be around, who enhance the journey in some way. Now, with that being said, it's also possible when we, we're in a two cycle that connections are going to come in, especially kind of karmic connections where they're meant to be a teacher for us in this lifetime. And so sometimes those connections can be a little bit challenging, um, not always, but sometimes, right? And so, but there's something to learn through that process. There's something to learn through that connection, um, which turns out to be either way, very beautiful. So definitely pay attention to the people that you come into contact this month, put yourself out into the world a little, mingle, especially if you're sort of looking for love. Um, But even whether you're looking or not, it may find you. So uh, this can also be a month where you could take a relationship to the next level, getting married um, uh, or getting divorced, right? Like either end of the spectrum can can occur under a two cycle. Um, But really, this is going to be a month where uh, the energy is pushing you to find balance, right? Not just in relationships, but, you know, in your life. And so anywhere that feels out of balance or out of alignment, you may feel sort of the pressure be put on those areas to bring you back to center, right? So let's say if you're in a connection and you're overgiving or you're over receiving, um, you're going to feel the pressure in that relationship because it's out of balance, right? And so, you know, changes in behaviors would have to occur for there to be an equal exchange of energy. And so with the two, it wants to see where is the disconnect and how can we reconnect, whether that's in the physical or whether that's just energetically so that we can all move forward in a healthy way. Uh, So in a sense, this can be a big month for uh, really just having a bigger perspective, seeing things from different view, your vantage points through a different lens, 
um, and deciding how you want to work with it so that you can sort of bring yourself back to center, find harmony within a situation, whatever that looks like for you. Um, and this is also going to be a month for collaborating and working with others, right? Trying to see eye to eye with others, even if you don't always agree, but again, finding that common ground, um, sort of meeting in the middle, right? Not sacrifice, but compromise can be a big theme this month. Now with dog energy coming through, this is beautiful, of course, right? Like dogs are just so, you know, such loving, like unconditional loving creatures. Um, and so they're beautiful spirits in that way. Uh, there's definitely this energy of sort of um, honesty, devotion, um, even service in some, some capacities comes through with dog spirit. But I would also say... Um, pay attention to the loyalty aspect of dog energy. It is a very beautiful energy, right? It's a very loyal energy. If you think about a dog, like a pet dog, right? Um, or, you know, a, a dog family member, there's a tremendous amount of loyalty there with that animal, right? And so that energy is definitely coming through this month for you all. But what I would also say with that is, just make sure that you are loyal with awareness. And what I mean by that is um, loyalty is an interesting thing because we can do, we can have loyalty towards something or someone blindly, meaning we're just completely loyal to what this person needs, says, does, etc., etc. And obviously, as we're talking about this, you can see how that could lead to toxicity. Um, and unhealthy behaviors. So I would say be loyal towards the things that you love, but with awareness, meaning making sure that that loyalty, you know, has a solid foundation, is in a healthy, uh, is being done in a healthy way, right? You're not just being loyal to someone who is treating you poorly. Um, because let's say, I mean, you know, I'm going to use, let's say, let's use like marriage, for example, if you're in abusive marriage and you're just loyal to that marriage because of that piece of paper or that those vows, et cetera, et cetera, I'm not getting down on marriage and the commitment, but you know, there would need to be some reevaluation into, um, why am I being loyal to a connection that is not being loyal to me or my health or my mental health, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right. And so, um, I know I'm, you know, not saying anything you all don't know, but I am just kind of bringing this up because when relationships come into the picture and then when this strong energy of like devotion and loyalty comes through, like with dog energy, you know, it can be easy to sort of feel guilt or shame around knowing that you need to end something or be a little bit or break that loyalty um, if it's not healthy for you, right? And so we want to alleviate those feelings of guilt and shame when you're doing something that's for um, the benefit of the higher good of all, right? Like, releasing yourself from something that's not healthy. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, there was probably a much quicker, easier way to say that than, than what I did. But my point is just loyalty is a beautiful, 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 beautiful thing. Um, but just make sure that you're being loyal uh, in a way that's not asking you to sacrifice yourself for that loyalty, right? Because then we, we, we move into more like unhealthy behaviors. So... Uh, and potentially destructive behaviors. So, but ultimately this month has the potential to be incredibly beautiful. And you may actually find this month that you get a new companion, meaning a new pet, right? Dog, cat, um, whatever, horse, I don't know. Um, so this could be a month where it's not necessarily human companionship that comes in, but, um, yeah, a new loyal companion of uh, the four four legged type. So beautiful energy for you all threes, ultimately. So I would say, you know, put yourself out there, be open to the connections that come in, remembering that sometimes soul contracts, soul connections um, look so much different than what we expect them to look. So um, 
Yeah. So just be open to who, who you uh, connect with this month. It could be very lasting and very beautiful. So, all right. Take care threes. Bye for now.